Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Grin. I am Byron and we are about to enter the town of Cerberus. This is the main street leading into Cerberus. The common gardens lie to the west and to the east is the bustling farmer's market. Many citizens wear morning garb. No shit, what happened here? Okay, at least the area works. That's always nice. Let's check. This is the town's common garden. Broccoli is planted here. Mm. Asparagus spears bloom here. I don't know what that is. Rows of rutabaja. Rutabaja are planted here. Well, I've never been much of a vegetables. Uh, I don't know much about vegetables. I know a few in German. Well, broccoli is broccoli in German as well, so there's no change here. But I hardly know any like <laughs> any English. You know, I don't know the English names for that stuff. I know apples and pears and mm, spinach and yeah. You face a bustling farmer's bazaar. The smell of cooking fills the air, and vendors good naturally haggle with their cup. No. The smell of cooking fills the air, and vendors good naturally haggle with their customers. That way the sentence makes actually sense. Um, okay, anything anything important here? Oh, all of a sudden it's night. You face an ornate fortune teller's tent. Will you enter? Yeah. A fortune teller stands behind a low table. His hood is pulled low over his eyes and face. Shall I tell you your fortune? he asks. Yeah. The fortune teller studies you and a shimmer of magic sweeps through the air. Your fortune is dark, he says. The path you walk leads to suffering and death. He leaves the tent. Wait, it's his tent. Why doesn't he kick us out? Why does he leave? Oh well. <coughs> well, suffering and death, yeah, but the question is, who is going to die and who is going to suffer? Probably not us. Um, yeah, well, let's move on. You've entered the main section of Cerberus, a cluster of angry people mill around the tavern to the east. Okay. The sign reads something. Many townspeople are here, talking in small groups. You ask the tavern keeper what's going on in Cerberus. You don't know? Some coward murdered the mayor in his sleep. The funeral is at the graveyard over the hill. Everyone's going. He returns to his duties. Oops. Somebody murdered the mayor. Golden Hayen. A friendly innkeeper shakes your hand. Welcome, warriors. Use my friend, my inn freely next time you win a battle. Think of me. He laughs. I was a warrior once myself. But then you took an arrow to the knee or what? Oh well, okay, we don't need to rest. What else do we have here? What is that? The armor is protected by a magical barricade you can't penetrate. There is no way to enter. Fine, then let's not enter. Well, 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 what else can we do? We probably should go to the graveyard. Golden Hay Inn. Yep, I know what's in here. The town hall looks dark. Enter? Yes. Town hall is empty and silent. The mayor's chair is draped in black. All meetings have been postponed until the funeral. Hmm. The sign reads private. We go in. <laughs> yeah, we are like that. If the sign says private, we go in. The mayor's quarters will remain empty until a new mayor is elected. Maybe, well, no, we don't have a private in our party, so... Hmm. Uh, okay, what's on the other side? A cleric welcomes you to his home. My name is Zachary, he says. What do you wish to know about? How about what do you know about the mayor? Zachary nods. I'm sure you've heard about the assassination of the mayor. I suspect it was part of a larger plot, possibly against all of Kryn. Why would they assassinate your mayor? What makes him so special? Would you like to hear about the drug keep now? Sure. <coughs> Free the servants in the keep. You must lift their GS by destroying their captors. We of Cerberus would be grateful for their rescue. 
Zachary sighs. Sighs. There's no more I can tell you. Talk to the people in the tavern if you need to know more. Zachary bids you farewell and good luck. Okay, so we will go to the thingy, um, the graveyard, and um, no, actually, area. Thanks. I think we have to leave exactly the way we came. Leave Cerberus? Yep. And I think the graveyard is here. You are at the Cerberus graveyard. Do you enter? Yes, we do. Twisting paths lead through the graveyard in all directions. People from Cerberus fill the area preparing for their mayor's funeral. A man at the gate gives directions. Go north to the T-intersection, then turn left. The funeral is in the mausoleum of that path. North to the T-intersection, then turn left. A dock sits over a grave to the northeast. The ward on this fence radiates evil. A large dock sits by its master's grave. It growls as you approach. You call it. The dock stops crawling. When you move, it follows. Awesome, we have a dock. When you, as you near the ward on this fence, your dock whines and cries. So we go to the T intersection, then to the left, he said. Okay. That would be the T intersection. Then to the left. And that's probably it, right? How about we encamp and save? And get in here. The funeral is inside. Mourners fill the mausoleum. Will you enter? Yep. This funeral is for the mayor of Cerberus. During the service, you see the mayor's body twitch. What do you do? Well, we tell the people. Outraged, mourners refuse to listen and continue the funeral despite your protests. What do you do? We do nothing. A few minutes pass, then the funeral is interrupted by Lothar from outside. The mayor's body animates and lunges into the crowd. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what you get for not listening to us. Turn. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. W wait, you don't what? You don't have a weapon equipped or what? Hmm. It's always the same with you. Oh, it's too far away. Actually, I get it. And it. Twelve experience points, yay. You hear screams as corpses drag themselves from the ground and attack all living beings. Thunder from above sounds like deep, triumphant laughter. You hear faint cries from the distance and black smoke rises from the direction of Cerberus. The town and the graveyard must have been attacked simultaneously. Ain't that great. Well, let's take a look at the area. We are here. What do we get here? You face a Molray coffin. Will you open it? Sure. Thousands of tiny dead spiders swarm out of the coven and up your arms. You frantically brush them off and the lid slams shut. Ugh. That's the stuff of nightmares. Yeah, we open that one too. Only dust fills this coffin. Good. And what do we get here? E giddy giddy git. More of those spiders. But they don't seem to hurt us. Okay, let's leave. That's where we came from. And where do we want to go from here? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we walk into this direction, and um, that appears to be a fence. How do I get through that? Oh, like that. The, a path of fresh earth looks as if something is buried here. We move on. An insane gravedigger stands here. His clothes are filthy, but he wears a bright ruby. He crackles. I'll bury, bury you deep, deep in the earth. Yes, yes. You grab the ruby. You snatch the ruby and it shatters in your hand. The gravedigger sinks to the ground. He speaks. This is recorded as journal entry 51. 
Well, well, Mr. Gravedigger, what were you up to? The Gravedigger's Confession I found this ruby on my bed, he cries. I didn't steal it, I swear to you, I'm no thief, he says, flashing anger. I thought it was a gift from a mourner for my services. I thought nothing of it at first. Well, that's a little far-fetched. Why would the mourners give you a ruby for burying their relatives? Hmm. He lapses into, a, into silence for a moment. Something happened to me. A few days after I found the ruby, my mind must have left me. Yeah, that's how it works. You gain something, you lose something. I am afraid I was led to serve some greater evil, to do terrible things. He looks up at you, fearfully now. I killed the cleric. He was such a kind man. I stole the runes he had placed around the graveyard ward of evil and buried them outside. The next morning, new runes had replaced them and the place stunk of evil. What have I done? He buries his head in his hands and sobs. You are awesome. He gives you a shovel and says that the true runes are buried right outside. Mm-hmm. Anything in here? You find a body. These are clearly the remains of the cleric that once governed this graveyard. Awesome. Okay. Will you dig up whatever's buried here? Sure thing. You unearth four metal runes. A strong aura of goodness emanates from them. You take the runes. You believe that replacing these runes around the graveyard fence would real no repel the undead within. So far we haven't seen any undead. But okay. What else could we do? We should move on, I say. Uh, we go up here. Oh, what? A huge shadow falls over you as undead rocks attack. Oh, really? Um, turn. Nothing happens. Oh, we have three undead rocks. They have 81 hit points and an armor class of 4. That's cool. I don't think you need to do anything. You move in and try to turn. Nothing happens. Okay. I thought like it would be like that. Oh. Oh. Okay. No. We should um, get you your dragon lance back. It's a big, uh, big creature, so the two-handed sword will probably do a truckload of damage. Yes. Good riddance. Yelling probably doesn't work. Awesome. Good riddance. 3010 experience points. That's not too shabby. Um, okay, moving on. As you near the ward of this fence, the dog whines. Replace the evil wound with a good one? Yes. You destroy the evil ward and replace it with a good one. Because we are awesome like that. Can we encamp and the dog stands guard over the party. That's good. I'll be fix. And move on. What's in here? A moldering coffin is here. Open it? Yep. Only dust fills this coffin. You face a moldering coffin. Will you open it? Yes. Uh, hmm. Do we get anything useful in that? It's either nothing or uh, annoying little spiders.
This coffin is locked shut. Use Ariel's key to key to open it. Not yet. Okay, we will remember that. We will return to that later. Okay, moving on. Where are we? Um, sorry, I wanted to take a look at the map, but apparently I have to fight again. Nice. And you die. Nice. Okay, we are in camp. Ah, good to have the dog here. And take a look at the area. Where are we? Um, okay. So we should probably um, go down here. The earth shifts as one of the graves sh shifts at one of the graves, and you hear muffled cries. Dig up the, gr the grave? Yes. Use the shovel to dig up the grave. You unearth a woman and help her recover. Soon she is strong enough to hide. And we get experience. Very nice. Where are we now? Okay, um, so we move over here and take a peek in here. Some wraiths have captured a young man and are holding him here. They attack. Rakodarian leads Duffy, as she always does. Um, you know, this bothers me a bit. Fireball. One, two, three. Yeah, it should be enough here. Yeah, you can take it. Shit, 63 is a lot though. Thanks. Better than being level drained. The captive passes out before I can thank you. You hide him as well as you can. And we gain experience. And we are in camp and fix. Maybe we should save. No, exit, moving on. So, okay. We have saved another soul. And more undead rocks attack. And I should note you know, to stay away from us. We have killed them. Many of them. No. No, you stay here and attack. You delay. And boom. Good night. Okay, move a little closer. And fire away. Oh, great. How can you miss such a big creature? Very nice.
Good riddance. Um, here in, uh, as you near the ward on this fence, the dog whines. Replace the evil rune with a good one? Hell yes. You destroy the evil rune and replace it with the good one. That worked nicely too. Um, so I think we should move to the other into the other direction. As you near the ward on this fence, the dog whines. Replace the evil rune with a good one. Yep, we do that. What is? Oh, really? More undead rocks attack. There must be a nest somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Not anymore. No, you don't go in there. Try to work your way around. God. Because it, it would be much better if Randy Sabias actually has access to the monster. Because he does a lot more damage. 3010 experience points, so we encamp. I like the dog. We fix. And move on. Where are we, anyways? Okay. Oh, take a look at that. Dracul Dorian can gain a level. How nice is that? What's in here? The chapel is empty and cobwebs are forming in the corners. You find a dust covered diary belonging to the graveyard's cleric. You read it. This is recorded as journal entry 38. <coughs> Cleric's Diary. The diary contains mostly routine notes about the upkeep of the graveyard. Only the last entry is of interest. I fear old Loring, the gravedigger, has been stealing from the buddies. He started wearing a huge ruby, far beyond his means, and refuses to explain where he obtained it. Before I speak to Loring, I must check the wards around the fence. It may be my, ima my imagination, but I sense something is wrong with them. Well. There some, was something wrong with them. So, where do we go now? I think all that is left to do actually is... Um, yeah, pretty much it. Return to the exit. As you near the ward of this fence, your dog whines and cries. You replace the evil rune with a good one? Yes. You destroy the evil rune and replace it with a good one. There is a great sigh throughout the graveyard as the undead attackers are reduced to dust. Evil has been banished in this area. And we get experience. That's awesome. We can camp and rest. And save. And I think we should probably return to um, Cerberus now. Do you want to leave? Yes. The dog runs back to its master's grave. How is he going to survive? He will starve to death. We enter. This is the main street leading into Cerberus. The smell of burning wood fills the air. You hear screams and fighting from the north. Okay. So we go there. Undead creatures charge forward. Wait. Okay. I don't go there. Your turn. 
nothing happens. Fine. You cast the fireball then. Yeah. Your turn. Nothing happens. Shit. You cast a regular fireball. And you target it. One, two, three. Here. Good riddance. You're still here fighting somewhere. Undead marauders fill Cerberus, destroying houses and stores. The citizens have barricaded themselves in town hall. In the town hall. But the undead are on the verge of breaking in. Let's change that. Isn't that a town hall here? If you try to enter town hall, giant... Giants? Probably attack? I don't know. Zombie giants. Really. So, like, we have a few to the left, to the left, to the left, and a few to the right, to the right. But no giants to the south, to the south. That's good. Fine. Boom. Boom. Good night. That should be the end of you. Exactly. She blows. That was relatively easy. Now that the zombies are defeated, it's safe to enter. Do we enter? We do enter. A group of people are huddling here. Hammering fills the air as the windows are boarded up. A man steps forward to address your team. This is recorded as journal entry 48. Oh, wait, I should have read that. Um, 48, he said. Attack on Cerberus. Never before has this town had such ill fortune. First the assassination of our good mayor. Now this. Legions of undead have invaded the town. They desire only our lives and the destruction of our homes. Dark shapes peer through the windows before boards are quickly nailed into place blocking their view. It was the fortune teller, says the teenage girl. I saw him giving orders to the creatures as I was running from the market. Her father interrupts. The important thing is to save our cleric, Zachary. Only he can open the door to the armory. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourselves, you know in a tight spot like that. That doesn't make sense. With our weapons we can destroy these accused invaders. Okay, and but if someone happens to take your cleric away you can't get to your weapons and you're dumb. Everybody of you should have a few weapons at home. That's how you do it. Okay, and we have to save them. You do it like the Switzerland. S um, the Swiss? It's like that. You go to the army in Switzerland for a few years or a few months, I don't know. And at the end, well, you take your gun with you and a little, uh, some equipment. So if someone attacks Switzerland, well, people are armed already. But who would want to attack Switzerland? Um, yeah, okay, let's try and uh, take a look at the... Uh, 
cleric's house. Spectrus howl out a battle cry. Okay. Where are they? Oh fuck, up here. Okay, you stand here and guard. You move here and turn. Shit. We uh, cast a fireball. So we wanted to go to the cleric. You find signs of struggle. It appears that Zachary has been seized by the invaders. Okay, somebody said that uh, ta the thingy here. The stock's are empty. Their rusty hinges indicate that they were not often used in this town. That the uh, forge teller is evil. Let's pay him a visit. Oh, fireman in slash forward. Really? Okay. Boom. Oh, they have an AC of minus. Mm, of minus what? No, three actually. You have an AC of minus one. Or you actually have an AC of minus one. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, you got. They probably come around. On second thought, maybe not. Oh, uh, he has one hit point. Good night. That was relatively easy, so we go over here. The farmer's bazaar has been demolished by the undead force. Forces. Boots are toppled and burning. They are wares either plundered or destroyed. Oh, can't go through here. This is where the fortune tellers fortune teller lives. The fortune teller's tent is closed. That doesn't look like a tent. It's a hut. Or a building, I don't know. <coughs> and you hear gravely voices debating within. Enter? Yep. The fortune teller is here holding a dagger against Zachary's throat. He snarls with rage when you enter and turns against you instead. That's a stupid thing. You should have cut his throat and then fought the party. It wouldn't have made much of a difference in battle with the party, but then the fortune teller would have been, uh, the, the cleric would have been dead and the townspeople would not be able to get to their weapons. But now you get slain by the party. Oh, take a look at them. Hi wizard. Um, how about we cast an ice storm? To stop them from actually doing shit. Yeah, I know. It sucks. That's not nice. And you take you too. Okay.
Good riddance. Ah, uh, the party has won. Each character receives six six thousand three hundred ninety-four experience points, and we found treasure. What do we get? Hmm. Okay, dots. You take the dots. Anything else here? No, probably not. And we exit. No, you can keep it. Zachary is grateful but weak from his ordeal. He murmurs an incantation to open the armory for the townspeople. Then asks you to bear him to town hall. To the town hall. And we gain experience. Good. What's in here? This is the town's common garden. It has been ransacked by the undead raiders. Why do you do that? Now that the zombies are defeated, it's safe to enter. We enter. You bring Zachary to the safety of Town Hall. He tells the crowd that they may enter the armory freely. The townspeople rush off to retrieve their weapons and slay the undead. You deserve a reward, Zachary says. Go northeast to the armory and take whatever you think is fair. Awesome. Okay, there's the inn again. Let's go in there. The walls of the inn are gouged and bloodstained. The innkeep is nowhere in sight. What's in the tavern? The tavern is in is a shambles. Broken glass covers the floor. Okay. Then let's go to the armory. The magical barricade has been lowered. You may enter the armory to collect your reward. Most of the weapons have been removed from the armory, but a few good ones are left. And we get 800 experience points. What do we get? Item-wise, gauntlets, ring, chainmail, mace. And money, 1000 steel. Keep it. Okay. No, I wanted to leave it there. So I think that's it for Cerberus. Now that the zombies are defeated, it's safe to enter. Yeah. Townspeople cheer as you enter. So I guess that's it. Leave Cerberus. Yep. And when we enter it again... Oh, Kobe Dai can level 2. That's nice. Cerberus is being restored. Walkmen bustle down the streets and hammering fills the air. That's nice. So we will take a break here. I will return to the outpost between the videos and train Rekordorian and Kobe Dai. I will identify the items and we will see each other in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.